What's up guys, welcome back and today I'm super happy to do this video because last one I got a little bit of hate like the last, if you guys don't know what this video is about I did a video on how to rank in Google or how, how I've been ranking in Google and stuff and people are like oh it's it's not that easy oh you need better backlinks you need PBNs oh my god it's like so much overthinking the, the thing like with most people they over optimize their page from the get-go and they simply don't even show up on the SERPs uh, on the Google rankings or they show up in shitty spots and they and the, they've got it wrong from the start so th through this video sorry I've just um, had something to eat through the mouth full of crap through this video I'm going to show you the preparation time I do before I go and start ranking stuff there's a few indicators and a few things you need to do before you go and just do this like it's, you don't. I don't just go out, find a random keyword, and start ranking for it. I actually study the top ten. So in this video, that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, I'm going to go in and study the top ten, kind of of this. Um, let's make sure my pen's working here. The top ten of this particular keyword that I'm going to be using as an example, and show you what you need to do, guys, to rank. Ranking can be easy on easy keywords if you do the right research. Don't worry about all the experts that tell you, oh, you need to do this. You need to get tons of PBN links, tons of these links, tons of those links. You need to just start stepping stones, guys, especially if you're new to this. Just start off very, very slowly. Start off with the basics, then look into doing harder keywords, then look into doing private blog networks. Those are um, links, by the way. But what you need to do, guys, is first to go out there and study the top 10 because I guarantee you 99.9% .9 of all the uh, SEO experts out there don't even do this and figure and find out um, what's working and what's not because you're only as good as the website before you. What does that mean? All you have to do is be better than the website before you to start ranking. Now, that's a little bit different on the top 10 because a lot of them have backlinks, but you should be able to get to the second page or third page with no backlinks, nothing for an easy keyword, okay? So we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you a few things. So guys, I, we're gonna go into the top 10 in a second, but I work on a thing called indicators, top 10 indicators. And I have indicator number one, uh, let's get this pad working. All right guys, just to plug my uh, track pad in there. So guys, indicator number one, what's the average amount of keywords um, amount of times the main keyword is used in the top 10. I'll show you how to figure that out in a second, okay? Because every single keyword is different. Some keywords, Google loves it when the page is stuffed with the main keyword. And some key and some keywords, Google only likes it if you use the keyword once, twice, three times, four times, 20 times. It, it depends, every single keyword is different, guys. And the way to determine how many times you should use your keyword is by actually analyzing the top 10. If you don't do that, you're just wasting your time and you're not ranking. And then you say stuff like this is hard and it doesn't work and Franklin's full of shit. So that's why we need to go through and actually analyze the top 10, see what's working, guys. Um, there's only two people I know that do this apart from me. Um, my mate Dylan and my mate Warren. I don't know anyone else that does this. And it's the most simple thing is analyze the top 10. Now, number two, guys, is images. How many images does the article have? Google loves images. And number three, uh, sorry, uh, images and videos, I should say. Videos as well. God, I can't spell for crap. I can actually spell. I just get really lazy on this. And number three is comments. Yeah, you probably... Um, comments, sorry, and word count. That could actually be um, separate, but we'll do um, that different. So if you don't know, comments on a particular page still count for um, for ranking and stuff. Like comments count in the word count. So if there's an article with a thousand words, but then it's got like 600 words of comments, a lot of people will analyze the top 10. They won't even think about the comments. So you've got to think about that as well, all right? So we're going to jump into um, Google right now, and I'm going to kind of show you process of how I analyze the top 10 of a keyword that I'm thinking of ranking in. And guys, remember, you should be able to get onto the second page or the third page, which is third is within the 30, I will say fourth page, we'll say within the top 40, easy, as soon as you index that page on the first day with zero backlinks, you should be able to get in the top 40 for an easy keyword. For a medium keyword, it might be a little bit different. 
but you're only as good as a site above you. You just need to make your site better than the sites above you because pretty much from the second page down is all just sites with shitty backlinks or no backlinks. The strongest sites are on the top with back uh, on the top 10. And yes, I agree, it would be extremely hard to get into the top five with no backlinks. Um, you can get onto the front page of Google for an easy keyword with simple comment blog, um, blog links, forum links, and things like web 2.0 links. Google that if you don't know what it is. Okay, but the number one thing, guys, that everyone, everyone messes up is the on-page optimization. They don't even do it properly at all. They over-optimize consistently over and over again. Okay, so let's jump into my browser right now and I'll show you kind of um, what I mean. Okay, so what I've done, guys, is I've gone to Superior Singing Method Review. And one thing I do look for as well is um, if, if anyone's advertising in this um, niche and someone is advertising, it means people are willing to spend money to get a sale. So that indicates to me that there's money to be made in this particular um, niche. Okay, now one thing I did actually forget, guys, um, for my, um, my oh, they're gone now, for my indicators, is actually another indicator I use before I even go into the sites, is are there any YouTube videos on the front page? If there's YouTube videos on the front page, it means that that keyword is particularly easy to rank for, because videos are easy to rank in Google. That it means to me that like um, Google has given these videos a favor and a hard keyword, guys, if you Google any hard keyword online, you won't see any videos on the, t on the top 10. Okay, so the first thing to look at, guys, is is there any advertising going on? Okay, you want to know if there's any ads getting getting run right now because it means that there's money to be made. And are there um, YouTube videos on the front page? If there's YouTube videos on the front page, it's usually, I'm not saying it is, but it's usually a good indication that this keyword is going to be easy. Now, a lot of people asked in the last... Um, video what was this thing here um, I, I forgot the name of the um, I, I forgot the name of it I don't even know I installed this a long time ago it's a free plugin um, I think it's called know your keywords or something or um, something like that I'm sorry I don't know guys so I can't answer that question for you it's something someone told me about a long time ago so those are the two first indicators okay and then guys you just want to go ahead and open up these sites all right we're just gonna do a few of them we're not gonna do all of them in this video and you want to go uh, command F, I'm on Mac, Command F, and I'm going to get my review, and I'm going to see how many times they have put in superior singing method review. Six times. Okay? Now, six times. Now, this is, see, this page has a lot of comments, guys. This also gets included into um, Google's kind of like SEO shit. So, if there's words like singing in here, like there's not much in here, but just a lot of people focus on the keywords inside the particular article. However, if, if Superior Singing Review was in the comments, I would also count that as well. Okay, so this site, six. Okay, six. Um, I'm not going to write that down. We'll, we'll just keep that open. Six. This site, Command F again. We have two. Okay, so we have one in the title. And then we have one in the article, um, and that's it. Okay, so we have two in this one here. Um, number three, command F, command F. We'll do it again. We have four. So we have one in the thing here. We have one here. We have one here. We have one here. That I should pick that up. Okay, so you get the point, guys. I'm, I've we've pretty much done the top three. I will do one more just to kind of get us over the kind of hurdle here. And we have three again. So we have from two to six. Okay, two to six. Um, now you can um, go out there. I'll talk about another thing. Let's see this guy. You can't even copy his um, writing to see how much words he's got. But um, you've kind of got to do a ratio of um, words as well. So we've got kind of two to sixes. And then so in between, we'll say we'll say four is the average. Oh, this is three. Yeah, so we'll say four is the average. So I'm going to go out there and put maybe three or four keywords. But what most people do, guys, the ones that are telling me this stuff doesn't work, they'll go and put the keyword in 10 or 20 times. You see? Or they'll do it 30 times and they'll over optimize the crap out of this partic particular article and they wonder why Google doesn't rank them. This is one of the number one factors, guys, keyword optimization. Okay, 
This is very, very important. So analyze the top 10, try to figure out the kind of average, and then also you wanna go into um, Google and search for word counters, okay? And you want to, I think there's one called SERP book. Um, it's free, I can't, or SERP keyword tool or something. And you go and copy these, um, these words, and you wanna see how many words these guys have on their site. So if it has 2,000 words, you try and go for 2,500 words. You wanna have more content than them. That's the another, another factor. The next factor, guys, is pictures and videos. Google loves media. They love pictures, they love videos. So you wanna make sure you have the same amount or more multimedia on your site than the top 10. You pretty much wanna replicate the top 10. That's how you're gonna get high rankings and that's how you're gonna to get to the front page with um, you know just low quality blog comments, guys. And you can get like, for example, this one here has tons of comments. You can go and use my um, blog comment strategy from the last video and ask about your review and you might be able to get a link on the competitor. All right? So I hope that makes sense, guys. Like I'm not gonna um, really drag this video on much longer because you, you see what, what, what you've gotta do. You've gotta actually go out there and analyze the top 10. The top 10 is the most, see we've got lots of ads going here, guys. So we know that this product makes money. The top 10 is your most critical part that you have to analyze and find those indicators. Okay, so once again, we'll do a quick review. We have, is there advertising on here? There's plenty of advertising. Uh, are there YouTube videos on the front page? Yes, there is. That's an indicator that it's gonna be easy to rank. Um, is there, um, sorry, um, go into the, I just had a mind blank that I was reading a message that popped up. Go into um, these sites. See, the, the, the most important thing, guys, is keyword optimization, the keyword ratio. See how much words their articles are. See how much multimedia they have, videos and, um, and images. Go and see if they have tons of comments because that can include in Google's, what, it, what Google shows. Google will show what's most relevant to what that particular person searched. And the top 10 are the most relevant, so it makes sense to replicate what the top 10 are doing. If the top 10 are using keyword, the main keyword two to six times, you go in there and you don't do it any more than six times. Because that's not what Google wants. You could do seven, maybe eight, but that's like borderline starting to over-optimize for that particular keyword, because that's not what Google wants wants guys okay um, and then also another kind of quick tip I guess is to kind of look and see if they've got it in the title here but most of the time they always do anyway so you don't need to worry about the, that too much see superior singing method review superior singing method review so just basically just copy the same titles and make yours a little bit you know have something that stands out like I, I do the shocking thing as well um, actually I wonder if this is the site I used I sold a while ago no, it's not. No, that's not the one. So, guys, I hope this kind of cleared things up. Um, to all the people that say, like, I find it funny when people come in and say, oh, you're using old SEO tactics. They don't work anymore. They work. I do it consistently. But you have to be smart about it. You have to go out there and actually, like, it's not, it's not like, I mean, it's easy to do. But you actually have to go and research the top 10 first. Okay, guys, spend a few hours researching and seeing what's working all right guys so i'll see you in the next video i hope it's cleared a few things up for you guys and um you know you can see people are advertising in this guys so there's money to be made even though it's only got 700 searches a month money 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 guys there's money to be made in this particular niche um i, I bet you this will change in the next six months there'll be completely different top 10 because you guys are going to go in there and probably have a go all right so i'll see you guys in the next video